Welcome back to Action Video Game Talk. I'm Scott Action Jackson, and today I'm here with one of many videos I talked about doing, well, making and doing, and that's covering some of my favorite topics from like favorite games, and well, game systems, I should say. Wow, I'm having an issue with <laughs> just recording this. But today we're going to start off with the, my favorite NES games. So yes, this is NES Nintendo Entertainment System. And trust me, I was very, very small and very, very young when I played these games. And bit of warning here, you're going to hear the word fun a lot. Because this, this is something that happens when you play on Nintendo systems. You have fun. That's the way it should be with games. Whether it is a board game, a video game, computer game. You're supposed to be having fun. And, and that's the nice thing about the Nintendo systems. They always bring out the fun. Now, these games are not are going to be in alphabetical order, not favorite order. Because doing something like that, I it's going to be difficult to just try and put it in numbered order. So We're going to start this off with Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Now, this is a Capcom game for the Nintendo. And presently, people can play this game as part of the Disney Afternoon Collection that is on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, I think Steam, and maybe the Nintendo Switch. In this game, you play as Chip or Dale, and I think in some cases I've seen you, you can play as both. But I've, I've always played it one player. I, I've never played with somebody by my side unless I tried with the... Disney Afternoon Collection version, and I, I, I've i got to admit, I've gotten pretty far on this game in the past, because I think on many cases I've gotten to the first boss, which is nice. There have been cases I got past the first boss, which is nice as well, and that's probably about as far as I got with that. The, this was a fun game for me, and it's definitely one of my favorites, and I did not try the second Chippendales Rescue Rangers, I, I don't. If I come across it, I might, but that's if I do. Next on the list will be DuckTales. DuckTales woo! Like the Chippendales Rescue Rangers, this can also be found on the Disney Afternoon Collection set that's out there on the systems and on Steam. This was one of those odd, tricky ones. I mean, I am a huge fan of DuckTales, the original DuckTales. The reboot, yeah, kinda, kinda not. Uh, <laughs> this this is a fun little game, also by Capcom, and you play as Scrooge McDuck, and you you can more or less use your little walking stick, pogo stick, whatever, to help you defeat enemies, bosses, by either jumping on them or using it to launch a rock at something to fall on them, and. Yeah, I, I, when I played this on the NES, I was I, I'm able to jump around to different levels and try them out. Even though I'm guessing my, much like Mega Man, you probably had to start on some certain levels and go in that order. Now the nice thing about this is that they did do a remaster, which feels like a lot better version of it because you kind of you you still play as Scrooge McDuck, but this has actual the actual voice actors from the old cartoon show, or at least as many as they could get, to come back and do the voices for their characters. And it the remaster <laughs> actually starts off with you exploring the money bin being broken into by the Beagle Boys. On the NES game, you more or less just go through these different lands, which you get to do later on in the remaster, after you go through the tutorial money bin. Yeah, uh, to me, the remaster will be always be a definite upgrade version compared to the original NES version of DuckTales. Now we jump over to the Super Mario Brothers, the very first one, which I think is part of the very first line, but my experience with it isn't just by itself. I think when I first had this game, it was when it was in the three pack with the Duck Hunt and the, oh, uh, what was the other thing? The, the, the track game. 
I forgot what it, I forgot if it was a pure track game or if it was like Olympics type of game. But it had that little track pad that you had to step on with the numbers and stuff. And, and of course I did also have fun with the Duck Hunt game too. Like many people, I wish I was able to shoot the dog that laughs at you. Now as many people know, those Super Mario Brothers games are simple, easy to go through. You're Mario. You go through to try and save the princess, who is always at the next castle. And then, oh, I'm sorry, the princess isn't here. You should check the next castle. Oh, wait, she's not here. Check the next castle. Now, in this one, it's straight and simple. You need to get to Bowser, even though you keep defeating Bowser every time. What the hell? But with the original Super Mario Brothers game, I was able to get, I think, to the levels where there was just a dark sky which I, I kind of had a bit of help by doing the little glitch where I get to the multiple pipes after the second level. <laughs> but, once again, another fun game. And it is a classic and iconic, more or less. So next on the list is Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, this is the ac an actual sequel, not to be confused with Super Mario Bros. 2, that was originally designed to be a different game that they threw Mario sprites on. Super Mario Bros. 3 is another continuation where you are playing as Mario and or Luigi. You once again are trying to save the princess who's kidnapped by I think Bowser and his kids this time around. And of course there's always these airships that you have to jump on to try and rescue people too. Because I think the first time around that you get to any kind of royalty I think you had to rescue some kind of king who's been transformed, so you had to get this magic wand back. And with this game, yeah, I, I did get quite a ways in due to um, finding the magical flute behind the white squares. So, uh, yeah, once again, I had a ton of fun with this game. A lot of people mostly know this game for the Wizard movie. The E3 for this year is called the movie The Wizard. But again, much like the first Super Mario Brothers game, it is classic. People know this game. People rely on this game more or less. It is one of the ones that are guaranteed to be on any type of favorite top NES game list. Much like the first one. And once again, when I was young, I played this by myself because I didn't have any brothers or sisters. And I had a blast with it. Now, later on, when I... Later on, there was a bit of an upgrade on it, much like there was an upgrade on the first one when they did the Super Mario Brothers All-Stars, and then I guess they upgraded it a bit further when they put it on the Game Boy Advances. So the last game on this list is Tetris. This is another one of those classic, gonna be on everybody's list game. And it is I indeed fun to play, whether you're by yourself or you're playing against somebody else. It's simple. You move blocks around to make a complete row. There you go. Now whether you start off as with a fresh space or one that's got kind of got some pre-built into it on towards the bottom. This is like I said another fun game. And it's kind of interesting to hear the story behind this on the NES cuz Sega had the arcade rights but never hopped onto it for the console but they later introduced a port to the Sega Genesis but Nintendo picked up the console rights to the game. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. So, yeah, that was a, a list of my favorite NES games I like playing. I, I don't have the NES Classic. I, I have the Super Nintendo Classic. In which case, I think I have, I think, the Mario games and the Tetris games on it because I, I kind of added them. I, 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 yes, I, I, I went in and modified and added games to the Super Nintendo Classic, much like I did with the Genesis one, and would like to do with the PlayStation one, but, uh, yeah, that's probably about as far as I'll go with that. So, yeah, this, like I said, this was my favorite NES games that I played as a kid, and even presently, too, and if I'm lucky, I'll get around to working on other favorite lists as well. If you want to, go and post down below some of your favorite games that you enjoyed playing growing up and or in the present day. So until next time, bye.